Yo guys, what's good? Adam Kahati right here. Uh, today I want to take you something a little different. Kind of want to show you guys how I make some music. But yeah, in case you guys have any questions, feel free to always hit me up. I'm always available. DM, Twitter, whatever you want. Text me, call me, email me. I'll help you guys out. I want to go through like my gear. Everyone always asks me like what I'm using to produce, like what plugins, what, what, what software, etc. So I want to run through all that stuff. Super fun, but you got to do it. There is no right or wrong way to make music, so if you guys hate this, just let me know. It's all fine. But if you guys love it, throw me a like, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Let's jump right into the video and I'll show you what I'm working with here. So you guys saw, I did open my MacBook Pro from 2015. This thing's a beast. Hopefully it doesn't die on me, knock on wood. But it is an awesome computer. And I am running Ableton Live 10. I just upgraded to this one. It's pretty cool. Um, I was on Ableton 9 before, but before that I was on Logic Pro 9. And guys, it really doesn't matter what you're using. It all matters your creativity. So learn one DAW, stick with it. And then yeah, just, just stick with that. Second is this butte over here. This was actually my last pickup. I went to Guitar Center like last week and I bought this. It is the Apollo Twin X. Um, it's an audio interface. It did put a nice dent in my wallet. But look how nice it is. And it has all the gadgets and gizmos, but I'm not gonna really get into that because this isn't a product review, but this is awesome. I used to have this old Scarlet Focus right, right over there. Wasn't great, upgraded, got this guy, and yeah. Moving on to MIDI. This is my MIDI keyboard. It's KeyStation 49 from M-Audio. You know, it, it's great, it gets the job done. Nothing too crazy I need. I'm a virtual piano player, so I got this piano right over here, Yamaha Arius. Um, this thing's a beast. I've had this thing for years. But yeah, it does help me a lot with, I'm either running a chord progression. I usually write my chord progressions on here first and then transfer over to my MIDI keyboard because I don't know, the MIDI keyboard, it's a keyboard. So it's it's not really getting a real piano feel. You know, I mean, it's not velocity, everything. It's, it's not really, a, it's not a real piano. Let's get that straight. So, you know, I would rather work on the, on the other piano first and then write my progressions here. And then I go into my software and if I make any you know mess ups or whatever, I'll take the pencil tool and the piano roll and just draw everything after that. All right guys, so now that we dove through all my gear and everything, um, you see it's nothing too crazy, but now I actually wanna go into a project and show you how simple it really is. Music is so, there's no one right way, there's no wrong way, so whatever you wanna do is right. This is the way I produce. You guys can hate it, you guys can love it, but it's the way I usually work. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. I actually, I was, I was really bored a couple days ago, so I just downloaded um, Post Malone, congratulations acapella off, uh, off some website, I don't know. And then since I said I'm a piano player, so I start always on the progressions. This is how the acapella sounds. Yeah, my mama calls, see you on TV. I mean, simple acapella, just vocals, that's really it. After that, I threw some piano in there. I'm using, uh, using excellent audio addictive keys and they got some great stuff. I'm using like the Grand Piano patch or whatever it's called. They have like another one like Upright Keys and that's probably my new pickup, but that's in a little bit because that's also some more money. And this stuff is so expensive. So, but you don't need all this stuff guys. Ableton does come with stock plugins for piano, but I've been doing this for a couple years. I wanted to upgrade a little bit and I got that. So after throwing in the piano, it sounds like this. Yeah, my mama calls, on TV, so Simple progression. It's a uh, song's in F sharp major, F sharp major. I really don't know music theory whatsoever. I just do everything by my ears. Um, but I know the progression goes like a. Uh, Ooh, where's my piano? So I know it went something like this. That's really it. Super simple progression. After that, I always like to add like atmosphere effects and everything because it really fills up the the body of the of the track. So I added a pad right here. Then I added another atmospheric effect. And that's really it in terms of like the melodic aspects of it. There really wasn't that much. Everything else. At the end of the day, it's really just like drums, bass, percussion, and like small ear candy tricks that, that that are super simple to put in. I mean, you just have to get creative with it. You know, go wherever you get your samples. I get my stuff from Splice, like a lot of producers do. Um, they got awesome stuff, shout out Splice. And it's super cheap, I think it's like $8 a month, and you get millions and millions of samples. So I highly recommend that. Great stuff over there, that's where all my samples are from. 
after that, I mean, I just threw in some kicks, some claps, some tambourines, uh, some small percussion stuff, and then really, you get this. That's it. There's not any other stuff really in there. And for the drop, now the drop is where you gotta get a little more creative. So, I love, 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 love vocal chops. I've loved that stuff for like four years now or whenever it really started coming out. So what I did was I took Post Malone's voice and I just chopped it up a bunch, filtered that in. So when the drop hits, you know, it's not so new to the listener, but it's, but it's like kind of a new element. Let me show you what it sounds like first. So yeah, I mean, that was really it. I had a plucky bass line, like a deep house pluck bass line, which is this. Yeah, that. Then I had like another sub grit bass line, heavily distorted, overdrive, EQ, compressed, everything. And I threw a bit crusher on that because bit crusher's dope. Some horns. Those are just emphasizing those like those uh those bass notes so it was like everyone on the one of the one of the beat um to really emphasize those those first notes and then you know you just add some claps some kicks and then some hats on the upbeats and they have the rhythm right there and then you literally just throw in that vocal chop that i said that i made and you get and that's it that's really it. It's that easy. I mean, it's it's not easy to come up with in the first place, but that's how simple it is. It was already just like five things. Well, like more than five, but you get the point. It was pretty simple. I'm trying to think, do I have anything else? I mean, not really. I mean, there's just some like claps, some, some sweeps, some crashes, all that fun stuff. I and mean, that's really it, you know? That's really it. So there's not that much more I wanna talk about today because that's my day. I'll sit here for like seven hours and just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And it happened, this one stuck pretty well. I liked it. I'm probably going to release it. If you guys like this video, throw me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below if you guys want anything else. And like I said, hit me if you guys got questions. More than happy to help. Peace out. See you soon. Like I'm at the bottom, yeah, yeah.